what is your advice to somebody early in their career or a student in college? How should they be, uh, what should they be planning on doing? Yeah. Um, so I think, once again, there's like, it's worth considering the spectrum of possible worlds and preparing yourself for that. Yeah. And the one, like the sort of action that I think is like highest EV in that case is you are about to get dramatic, in the, at a minimum, you are about to get dramatically more leverage. Mm -hmm. You already have. Like already the startups in YC are like writing, you know, writing huge amounts of their code with, uh, you know, Claude. Oh. Um, so what challenges, what causes do you want to change in the world with that added leverage? Like if you had 10 engineers um, at your beck and call, what would you do? Or if you had a company at your beck and call, like what would that enable you to do? And what problems and domains suddenly become yeah. tractable? That's the world you want to prepare for. Now that still requires a lot of technical depth. Obviously there is the case where AI just becomes dramatically better than like everyone at everything, right? But for at least a while, probably, there is like, Advantage. I think Jensen actually talked about this in an interview in an interesting way where he's like, you know, I have like 100,000 general intelligences around me and I'm still like somewhat useful because um, I'm there like, you know, directing the values and like, mm -hmm. like, you know, like asking them to do things. And, you know, they're still like, they're, I still have value even though I have 100,000 general intelligences. Yeah. And for many people, I think that will still be true for a fair while. Um, and then, you know, as the AIs get better and better and better and like so on, eventually no. But uh, again, prepare for like the spectrum of possible worlds because in the event where we're just totally outcompeted, it yeah, doesn't matter what you do. But in all the other worlds, it yeah, matters yeah, a lot. Yeah, yeah. Get the technical depth. Study biology. Study CS. Like, really think hard about, study physics. Think about hard about what challenges you want to solve in the world. Yeah. That's a lot of topics. <laughs> <laughs> That's a you lot can of now. You can. <laughs> right? Like, <laughs> it's so much easier to learn. Everyone's, That's right. Yeah, everyone ha now has the, like, infinite perfect tutor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. It's definitely been helpful to me. Yeah. I would say some combination of, like, get rid of the sunk cost of your like previous uh, yeah, workflows yeah. or expertise yeah. uh, in order to evaluate what AI can do for you. That's right. Um, and, and another way to put this, which is fun, is just like be lazier in so much as like figure out the way that the agent can do the things that are toilsome. Um, but but it's you're going to have to, in the, the, you're, ultimately you get to be lazier, but in the short run you need to like critically think about the things you're currently doing and like what an AI could actually be better at doing yeah. and then go and try it or explore it. Uh, because I think there's like a, still just a lot of low hanging fruit of people assuming yeah. uh, and not writing the full prompt, giving a few examples, That's right. connecting the right tools um, for, for your work to be accelerated, automated. Yeah. Yeah. Um, there's also uh, the sunk cost of feeling like since you're not quote unquote early to AI, that you've sort of missed the boat and you can't like, but I, I, I think, I mean, I remember when GPT-3 came out. So backstory on the podcast, when I graduated college, I was planning on doing some sort of AI rapper startup. Um, and the podcast was just like a gateway into doing that. And so I was trying out like different things. And at the time I remember thinking, oh, 3.5 is out. And people are like, I'm like so behind on like the startup scene here or whatever if I wanted to make my own rapper. Um, I mean, maybe the idea of the rapper was inadvisable in the first place, but just like the, I, every time feels early because like it's sort of, if it's an exponentially growing process. Um, and there were many things, many ideas which are only becoming possible now, right? Yeah, so exactly. Um, it's that product exponential I talked about before. Right. Like products are literally obsolete. Like you need to constantly reinvent yeah. yourself to stay at the like frontier yeah. of uh, capabilities. But do you remember? I had a really shitty idea. And I gave you a I don't call. Know what it was? <laughs> it, it was. It was like um, I think it was like rag for like lawyers or something. Right. Yeah. Anyways, I give you. I think one of our first interactions was I'm like, hey, what do you think of this idea? And you're like, I think the podcast sounds promising. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was right, <laughs> which, which I appreciate. Yeah. If you enjoyed this clip, you can watch the full episode here and subscribe for more clips. Thanks. <laughs>